interesting development today. My Raspberry Pi 1, after the last OctoPi update, no longer appears to have enough power to run um, both the camera, uh, USB camera that I've got set up, um, and actually run the prints. What was happening is uh, the prints were jittering and pausing. So when I did some reading, come to find out that uh, the Raspberry Pi was causing the G-code to, to quit sending to the printer, which would then make the, the X-axis quit moving and, and all kinds of stuff. So um, instead of turning off the camera feed, because that's a big portion of why I went to Octopi, I decided that I'm going to get this uh, Raspberry Pi 3. It's got four cores, way better suited for this, and it also has uh, built-in Wi-Fi. And, uh, and Bluetooth so yeah so I'm just gonna kind of film the process of making a mount and uh, case for the Raspberry Pi 3 uh, my plan is I'm gonna have it all mounted up right here with the uh, get this moved around here with the camera some somehow pointed probably right about there kind of looking in um, and the whole idea is keep it out of the way of the the bed as it's moving and any piece that's on the on the bed um, but also make it able to see the most uh, of the build plate as possible so what I'm gonna do I think I have this tool holder link in the description for this um, really nice, holds all my little tools and everything, but what I think I want to do is take this piece and basically just design a new platform. Is It's a really simple concept, um, so seems pretty modular, and it's really nice on the Robo, it just kind of slides into the factory case, and setting items on it is as simple as that so I think I'll be able to have the same um, holder printed up with just a, a dedicated tray sitting right about here with the Pi and uh, probably a shorter USB cable to hook the Raspberry Pi up to the printer and just have everything all nice and, and tight over here on the side so that's the plan. Uh, I will cut over to showing you the design process that I'm going to go through using uh, Fusion 360. So, uh, I know I said I was going to be modeling a Raspberry Pi mount for the Robo. Uh, curiosity struck me and I thought, you know, somebody else has probably already done this. It's the internet. Sure enough, I found one that I really liked simple nice case uh form fitting and and the cables go out the opposite of the build plate overall looks pretty good uh, i'm not going to print this plate i just don't feel the need but uh, i will be adding this as a uh, link in the description and uh, the only thing i'm finding is people are saying the raspberry pi camera plug-in port is uh, a little bit hard to use. In my case, I, I don't care because I'm not using that. I'm using a Logitech USB camera that works just fine with Octopi. So yeah, everything uh, that I was going to do, <laughs> I don't need to do, which is totally fine. So I'm going to print this out. I'll have a time lapse of the print for those of you that want to see it. So stay tuned. Another model that I was checking out was this one. Now this is uh, something that I'll probably look at doing in the future. This one actually has some five volt relays uh, and an internal embedded uh, power outlet for the Pi itself. Now this is really cool because basically it's, it's all internal. The Pi and everything 
is completely out of the way. And you can also use this to turn the printer itself off and on directly from the Pi. And that's one of the reasons that I do enjoy using the Raspberry Pi for projects like this, because you get all of the, the general purpose ports, uh, uh, pens, to do all kinds of crazy things. So, I, I mean, I've already got some ideas that I'm not going to say right now, because I, I think they're going to make uh, good future videos. Um, the reason I decided not to go with this right now is because my my printer still has a warranty. I've had to use it once for the bed. And I don't like being dishonest and saying that, you know, I haven't modded anything whenever Robo3D asks that question in the warranty form for replacement parts. So coming up here, I don't know, three months, I think my warranty expires. And uh, yeah, I'll, <laughs> I'll probably come back and, and do this uh in my opinion, the right way, where it's completely embedded, seamless, uh, and also provides additional functionality. All right, so I went ahead and printed the model. Didn't come out too bad. And I got a time lapse uh, uh, I'll include for everyone to see of it actually printing. And I'm just going to clean up some of these little stringies. This is a Robo uh, 3D gold filament. I've had pretty good luck with this in the past, although now I'm starting to see that. Um, well, I didn't print it with I didn't print it with supports, if you can tell. Uh, I've already cleaned up some of the holes. It didn't do too bad for no supports, honestly. I'm I'm pretty surprised. But let's see here. Voila! So a little tip for you. <laughs> Just a simple Bic lighter. I clean up those stringies really fast. Um, pretty much just disintegrates them. So I did print this at 0.1 layer height. Not really sure why. It doesn't need to be that high fidelity and um, probably could have saved me some time, but I was asleep when this printed, so no big deal. Yeah, so it looks good. I'm going to go get the Raspberry Pi. I just shut it down. <clears throat> Alright, let's test the fitment of the Raspberry Pi 3. Definitely a little tight. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Oh, okay, I see. <clears throat> so it's not fitting because of the headphone jack, but also, if you can see it there, looks like there's a track that it slides in, so I might need to back that all the way out and try again. Interesting concept. Well, look at that. I think it's just going to barely fit in there. <laughs> wow. That is a tight and somewhat uncomfortable fit. <sighs> okay. Wow. So as I said earlier, uh, I was going to model something basically just like this. Uh, well, I guess a little different, but um, as usual, somebody's already done it on the internet. And I thought, hey, I'm going to try this out. Now, I'm still going to have to find a way to mount the camera to this, but overall, I think this is going to fit the bill perfectly. Sweet little case. So, link in the description for this model um, so that everybody can get to it if you have a Robo 3D. Um, and this is a remix of someone else's uh, sliding ca uh, sleeve case 
for the Raspberry Pi. So, well, yep. If I had to do it over again, I probably would use supports. Um, because that looks kind of messy, but nobody's going to see this. I mean, this is all this is all for the printer, and this is going to be behind the frame anyways. Let's see. SD card is a little hard to get to, but I'm not going to be using the SD card slot after I put the card in. So, don't really care about that. And the sleeve case is designed... To have access to the printer, uh, I'm sorry, printer, to the camera header so that you can use a Raspberry Pi camera and have the cable come out this, uh, out of the top. But I'm using a Logitech USB, uh, webcam because it's what I got. So I'll cut over to show it on the actual printer. All right, so as we saw in the other part of the video, Raspberry Pi does fit. Thank goodness for dimensional accuracy. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and try to fit this in. Now, the, the other neat thing about this is that the, all the plugs face away from the build platform. Um, <clears throat> I didn't see any the other way around, but yeah. It's a small oversight if you don't think about it, so whoever put this together, great job. Oh, alright, so it's hitting the wire loom back here. Awesome, fits perfect. So now the other piece is the camera so i'll have to fiddle with this a little bit most likely figure out a good place to have it you know maybe yeah i don't think that's gonna let me see what i want to see maybe tilt it up some Well, that's probably going to work. Something like that. And then I can easily make a mount that sits in this corner here. Hmm. Very fiddly stuff. <laughs> too bad. So I think what I can do is I can uh, maybe make some kind of mount with a some kind of design some kind of piece with a uh, 90 degree to fit over this and then make it triangle shaped. Just kind of glue it on. Put a threaded hole in the back. Find out what size fastener that needs. I think that'd work great. But yeah, overall, looks pretty darn good. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if uh, you learned anything or if you like these videos. If you have any suggestions for me for future videos, please leave a comment down below. And talk at you later.